It was exactly one year ago that cops were called to the home of the actor Ron Ely, who played Tarzan on TV back in the 60s. Police say they found his wife stabbed to death, their son covered in blood. He was believed to be a suspect and was shot dead by sheriff's deputies in what authorities say was justifiable homicide. But the actor's daughters don't buy that. In fact, they tell Jim Murray they believe police are covering up what happened. It seemed like an open and shut case. Investigators ruled that the son of TV's Tarzan murdered his mother, and when deputies shot and killed him, it was justifiable homicide. Now in this Inside Edition exclusive, actor Ron Ely's daughters make bombshell allegations, accusing the sheriff's department of a cover-up. I believe that they're covering for themselves. I believe that they all shot him unarmed without him saying he had a gun. Kirsten and Caitlin Ely say they've endured unimaginable pain since the deaths of their mother Valerie and brother Cameron. To lose mom and Cameron in such a horrible way is unfathomable. They're sharing never before seen photos and video of their close knit family. I'm so proud of you. My mom and I are soulmates. My brother, my sister, we're all soulmates. I think that's the hardest thing that together we had such a powerful love. Tragedy struck the family exactly one year ago today after cops say Ely, who played Tarzan the Ape Man on the popular 1960s TV series, told deputies his son stabbed Valerie and fled. When deputies found Cameron, they say he quickly moved his hands toward his waist and yelled, I have a gun. They say Cameron, a high school football star who went to Harvard but fell on hard times and worked as an Uber driver, lunged forward. Santa Barbara deputies responded, hitting him with a total of 22 gunshots. But the sisters claimed their brother never threatened deputies, and that he had his hands raised. They say this sheriff's recording proves it. Listen as cops approach Cameron. Keep your hands up, okay? Keep your hands. You got gloves? We need somebody to glove up. Yeah, I'll do it. What follows next is a hail of gunfire. Shame on you. Shame on you. No weapons were found on Cameron. The sisters also claimed that their brother did not kill their mother and that it was the work of an intruder. We found a, an identification, a photo identification, and a hat of a male, a 30-year-old male that's not our brother, um, at the scene of the crime and we gave it to the detectives. Ron Ely is now 82 and is wheelchair bound due to a stroke. The actor has now filed a federal lawsuit against Santa Barbara County, claiming that sheriff's deputies did nothing to help his dying wife after she was stabbed here in their Santa Barbara home and that deputies opened fire unjustifiably on his son, shooting and killing an unarmed, innocent man. Attorney DeWitt Lacey represents the family. Obviously, there's no need to use deadly force on Cameron. I would ask them why they're not telling the truth. Just keep your hands up, okay? Officers claim Ely's daughters told them the camera had become erratic, unstable, and volatile in the days leading up to their mother's killing, but the daughters deny that they said that.